Welcome back to the RV Rundown. I'm your host, Barry, and this is the segment where we take a quick look at some of the hottest floor plans on the market today. I'm coming at you from the Southern RV sales lot, standing inside of an all-new 2022 Sport Trek Touring Edition 302 VRB. The RB stands for Rear Bath, and we'll get to that in a second, but I just want to let you guys know this may be one of my favorite couples coach floor plans on the lot at the moment. It's actually really thoughtfully designed and has a lot of really cool features. We'll get right into that. We'll check out the rear bath in a second, but let's start right here because I'm standing in the living room area. Notice that we have a nice large slide to my left. It's hosting our theater seating. This theater seating is complete with recliners. We have cup holders and power for charging up our phones. Notice there's a little bit of storage up above. And of course, this is sitting directly across from our entertainment center. Our entertainment center features a big flat screen TV. This is on a mount, so it does pull out to reveal more storage hiding in behind it. As well as up above, you've got nice deep cabinetry there for all sorts of different things. I can see using that maybe as excess pantry space. Same as below, you've got a couple of cabinets next to your head unit and functional fireplace that's going to be used to keep this thing nice and warm in addition to your furnace. Pushing forward, we end up in our kitchen. The kitchen is actually pretty cleverly designed. It's not very big, but it gets the job done. Because of we have this L-shaped counter with the glass covers over our three burner cooktop and the steel grate that's over our nice big single basin stainless sink. That's gonna really extend our counter space. The counters themselves are solid surface, so they're non-porous, which is very cool. That means wet things can be left on there without leaving a ring. There's plenty of storage down below in the form of drawers. Got a lot of them there all the way down. And then the refrigerator right behind me is a Furion 12 volt refrigerator. So it's gonna have a whole bunch of storage in it as well, thanks to the fact that it doesn't have those cooling fans in the back back there. The AC in this is ducted through the roof. We have two air conditioners on board, thanks to the fact that this is 50 amp service. And this actually has a 190 watt solar panel up there that's linked back to our Go Power. 30 amp charge controller that we have right here on the wall showing us what's going on with our battery systems. Also in this cabinet, we find our main control panel. It's all conveniently right next to our entry door. Below that, a nice coat closet for hanging up your jackets as soon as you come through. And then directly across from this on the other side, we have what could be considered to be kind of your primary pantry here. Lots of shelves, it's not too deep, but great for canned goods. Now this unit has two slides on board and at 7,600 pounds dry, I'm gonna say that's pretty impressive. One of the things I like is that they put the bedroom on a slide and they've given us these wonderful big double doors that separated off from the rest of the living area. But that bedroom having a slide in it with that east-west bed, that's a king bed. Notice how much space I have to walk around at six foot three. I have plenty of room above my head. And they've given us loads of storage. The traditional closets left and right in the front cap. We also have all of this cabinetry that's up above. Pretty simple shelving up high. It's got some blue mood lighting in there that can be shut off if you need to. And of course, at the foot of the bed, we have a big chest of drawer with one of those romantic fireplaces. I know we've got some fans out there that really love having that fireplace in the bedroom. You can also hook up a TV back here. We have all of the points for it up in the corner. And then I'm not sure if it's something that's new this year or not, but they've done something that I don't remember them having, which is this hidden storage in top of the dresser. Also of note, down here where you sit, on both sides, if I pull these away, we have some pretty cool little cubbies with power. So we have the ability to charge up phones or set up something that you may want to keep charged on a regular basis. Another thing of note is that I can lift this and have access to my pass-through storage outside. I think that's kind of cool. 
kind of a neat little reading nook. It works really well with that front window that opens up and lets all the light in. Notice too that we do have storage up above the bed in the form of cabinetry on either side and they put USB plugs and a standard plug up there as well so that if you do need to run an alarm clock, we have the ability to do so. Up under the king bed on the strut assist, if we lift it, we find a nice big chest. And that's gonna allow us to keep all kinds of blankets and other off-season things that we may not need access to on a regular basis. Let's check out the RB portion of the VRB, the rear bath, because it's got a little secret of its own. It has this nice big glass corner shower, loads of storage in the form of cabinetry on either side. The actual sink has a medicine cabinet up above as well as storage down below that. And then behind it, we've got something kind of cool. We have another closet. Now this has hanging rods high and low. So that's gonna give us more places to put things. And then there's a nice little mirror on the wall. You can see Jason there. But if we were to remove this cabinetry, we have the ability to put a full size washer dryer back here. So the hookups are there. I think that's super cool. The other neat thing they've done is installed the LevelMate Pro system. That's already coming with it. That's just a little Bluetooth system that allows you to check the level of the camper from your phone. So when you're backing it up and setting it up in the campsite, it's not a problem. Let's hop outside, because this has a cool little outside kitchen to check out. Now, it's a little bit of a rainy day here at Southern RV, but that makes me appreciate this big electric awning all that much more. It's an awesome piece of equipment. It's very well placed on this camper running nearly the length of it, but it completely covers the door, the outside kitchen, and the speakers, and all of this great patio area we have. They've also installed the lights on the awning tube, which makes them adjustable. You can point them up or down to kind of light your situation however you see appropriate. Now, before we get to that outside kitchen, let's check out that pass-through storage that we saw from inside the bedroom. Notice we have slam latches and magnetic catches, super easy to use, opening up to that big, big pass-through. This is equipped with the step above solid entry stairs. It also has a cool little bottle opener right there. These are the type that have the quick release on it, so it makes it really easy to use. The old pen system was hard to fumble with. And then back here at our outside kitchen, we have our suburban griddle, an R-Vision refrigerator, and a small sink. This is pretty cool. I like this better than some of the grills that have flip-up covers because now the stove will open while we're still using that grill. I think that's kind of cool. Also of note, down low, we have two separate LP outs. Having two means we can run that griddle as well as another gas appliance such as a grill or a stove or something else you choose to run. Kind of cool. This thing is going to be here for a little bit. I doubt for very long it's a super popular model, but come see it for yourself at Southern RV in McDonough, Georgia, or give us a call at 770-477-0552. You can also visit us online at southernrv.com. Until next time, guys, as always, happy camping. Oh,